At one time or another, many of us, we've had neck and back pain. I actually have some right now. And, well, Spine Team Texas is here, and they offer a complete team approach to treating that pain this morning. Physical therapist and uh, physical therapy director Justin Keller and physical therapy aide Lauren Nolan, they're here to demonstrate some practical techniques that can relieve that neck and back pain. I sure am happy to see you, too. So welcome Good to you. Good Morning Texas. Thank you. you bet. Okay, so, Justin, what's the different approach? It's very different at... Uh, Spine Team Texas that you use on your patients? Yeah, so the approach we have at Spine Team Texas is a really comprehensive approach, and we, as physical therapists, focus on the McKinsey approach, the treatment of neck and back disorders. Okay, very good. The McKinsey approach. So what exactly is the McKinsey approach when it helps with the pain? So the McKinsey approach is a mechanical assessment approach, and we try to figure out why the person's having pain and what we can do to fix that pain. So we analyze the patient's movements, and we find a directional preference, and that preference, in other words, is to try to improve improve the condition of that patient. Okay, well, we're discussing pain, we're discussing uh, back and spine and the neck, uh, but what does it cover? It covers five main areas. So okay. based on the mechanical assessment of the patient, we really focus on the patient's pain and what we can do to make that better. The other component so is trying to improve the patient's strength and flexibility, the core stability of the muscles, the mechanics, how they move and how they stand, and really look at ergonomic supports and devices to make it better. All right, so it's a comprehensive and it's a customized treatment plan. So explain how strength Strength, mobility, and function for core stability helps. It's all about, of course, the patients have to do their part it, too. It, it is, it is. So if you have a stronger core and, and more flexibility through your through your core, then you're going to put less strain and stress onto the tissues that are already further uh, damaged and try to decrease that uh, c continued problem. All right, okay, so we're, you're actually going to, Lauren is going to show no. us some techniques that we can use for a hamstring stretch. And so, Lauren, I'll let you do it. And then, Justin, okay. you explain to me what's going on. Sure, so there's a lot of different ways to do stretch. And the safest way for your back to do stretch is to, is to lay on your back and to use a stretch strap like Lauren's using and to try to pull your leg as far as you can comfortably go. Hold it for 30 seconds to make a difference. Okay. Okay. Um, there's other ways to do it, but this is the safest for your back. Okay. Right. Very common to have tight hamstrings with back problems. And the next, next stretch I'll have Lauren demonstrate is going to be a glute stretch. And so it's using that stretch strap, same thing, crossing her leg over her knee and trying to stretch the outside of her hip. Another area that's really commonly affected with people with back pain. Okay, and so another part, of, let's see, another part that we're going to address, the mechanics and ergonomics. Uh, what, do they, what do they do and how do they support? Yeah, so... Expl actually, explain to me what ergonomics is. So ergonomics is basically how people sit, stand, and walk and move on a daily basis. Good to okay, know. So okay, so we look, as physical therapists, we're experts at looking at the mechanics of how the body moves and so one of the most common things that we do on a daily basis is sit and so we'll demonstrate proper sitting here okay so if Lauren's gonna sit you should be sitting with a lumbar support okay a cushion in the small of your back to help maintain the normal curve in the small of your back and then she needs to sit Good to the to back know. of the chair okay just like that very nice. Very safe way to sit like that. And I see that your posture, I mean, you, you can't help but sit up straight yeah, and have yeah. some good posture with that behind your back. Absolutely. So if we look at standing here. Okay. We'll come on over this way because this is what my desk looks like, everybody, right? <laughs> so a standing workstation is a great alternative to sitting all day at work. And so this Vera desk here is in a nice adjustable desk. You can go from a sitting to a standing position, and you can maintain good, good ergonomics and mechanics. And you can demonstrate this by using a golf club. So if a golf club's on her spine, you can see that she's got three points of contact, her head, mid-back, and tailbone. And that's a good type of posture to be in. But if she slouches, go ahead and slouch for me, well, then that's a poor mechanics and poor position. Oh, Justin looks bad. like me all the time. Okay, obviously, I I should probably be sitting at my desk. And so give me some top reasons why we should probably go to the spine and neck doctor. I see some right now. Yeah, so if you have serious pain, and that pain does not get better in a short amount of time with uh, rest and some anti-inflammatories, you need to go. If you have pain that extends down into your arms or legs, or if you have numbness or weakness in your arms or legs, it's time to go see the doctor right away. All right, guys, if you're feeling that right now, you should probably give us a call. Lauren, thank you for the demonstrations. Here is that number. It's 866-4-YOUR. It's you are back to see if you qualify for this unique treatment treatment for chronic spine pain. They also have locations in South Lake, Fort Worth, Alliance, Bedford, Rockford, Richardson, and in Allen. Simply head over to their website for more at spineteamtexas.com.